Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Krypton Caro and I am with Ruala and Kay. Okay, so um, the last time that we had this one was also in the car of Ruella. So we will be talking about another um, question or di different questions this time. So why don't you introduce yourself again, Ruella? Sure. I'm Ruella and I am. I just currently graduated from my Bachelor's of Education. So I'm in my first year of teaching. Um, but before doing a Bachelor's of Education, I did my Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience and Mental Health. So. Hopefully I can use what I've learned from those programs into our to uh, topics of conversation today. Cool. And Kay. Hi, my name is Kay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like doing anything at the moment. Like I'm still looking for a job. Cool. Cool. So the very first question that we will be discussing for today is how to not compare yourself with other people because you know in today's world we often see a lot of people like they're all in their social media and then they also see people living a perfect life or what they thought it is perfect mm -hmm. although it's not really perfect so I happen to compare myself with other people in the past and I still do from time to time but I'm learning not to compare my, myself with other people anymore because I know my worth so Ruella what are your thoughts about you know not comparing um, yourself with other people I actually personally struggled with comparing myself since I was young um, yeah it's a it's a big struggle and it's I think it's a journey to find yourself develop your self-confidence and eventually like not care about how other people are doing in the world because all you really need to care about is yourself right um, because that's all you have at the end of the day you just have yourself you have yes. to um, take care of yourself be happy with yourself because at the end of the day you only get to experience your life and nobody else's life you, mm -hmm. you will never see how other people live their lives you will never really know everybody fully so mm -hmm. So you don't, you can't compare yourself because there's actually like all you know of about yourself is everything, and all you know about somebody else is almost zero, right? Yeah, it's almost, just like a piece. It's just a very small piece. Yes. So you'll never really know because there's nothing to. It's very hard to compare the small piece compared to your whole life. Yes, so. because you know yourself. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. For the most part, <laughs> so, I think. <laughs> how do you not compare yourself? Mm -hmm. Should I start or do you want sure. to Sure, who wants to go Maybe first? Maybe my sister can start. Okay. How do you not compare yourself at the gate? Like, not to be, um, like, like not to be jealous to other people. Mm -hmm. And then, I know, like, they're, I know they have their own life. I have my own life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and then if they're having fun without you, you can have fun with other people as well. Yeah, that's a mm -hmm. big thing too. Yep. Yeah. True. Okay. Your turn. Okay, How do you my not turn. Compare yourself. How do I not compare myself with other people? Yes, I understand and I know that I also have my own weaknesses, mm -hmm. but at the same time I also have my strengths. So I'm just going to focus on my strengths and working on my weaknesses and i'll just think of myself as you know special because no one is going to replace you regardless of how many plethora of people out there even if you're already gone in this world it's still you who mm -hmm. you know who made a legacy in this world so you can't really make like a clone of someone else yeah. from you I like if that, that makes sense you know and uh, yeah you you should just focus on yourself mm -hmm. think that you are special enough and that you know there's a lot of things that i want to say but it, it's just kind of like boom 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 i, I want to <laughs> say a lot of things but then yeah you, you guys know what i'm talking about it's yeah, yeah you're special and, i like that uh, yeah. yeah i like it um i like how you know you mentioned that in the universe there's nobody else that's going to be like you mm -hmm. it's just you that that is completely unique completely 100 mm -hmm. unique mm -hmm. from somebody else and there's mm -hmm. nobody else who is like you so why don't you think of yourself as special right mm -hmm. so because you are special yes. there's nobody like you at yes. all so because you're so special you should take care of your specialness right? mm -hmm. you should you should like i don't know be proud of being are. the only the person, person yes to be yourself yes right? so you're the only one who could be yes the person with this body with this mm -hmm. personality with your eyes yes. your nose and your lips 
so you should be proud of that yes like, yeah nobody else is mm -hmm. the same and you know regardless of how similar you are with other people like for example oh you're like so similar with this person even if you are similar with this other person there's still a chance that they are interested in other things so that won't really make them you because you are you 100% mm -hmm. yeah yeah for for sure definitely you'll have your own weaknesses and strengths yeah. and the other person who might be similar than you will have their own weaknesses and strengths but your your puzzle or your your whole i don't know thing everything that comes together that makes you who you are is mm. what what some people might really like right mm. because they can become inspired mm. by things that you go through your own yeah. struggles because they might relate to it mm. and so you even telling your own your, your own unique story can inspire somebody exactly right, to, to become mm -hmm. their selves their mm -hmm. own selves yeah wow miss universe wow. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. very you? good Yay. do you have anything to say about how not to compare yourselves or like maybe your own experiences do you feel like you compare yourself sometimes yeah i do yeah what do you want to talk about like want to move up forward mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah like um i always compare myself with uh, other people mm -hmm. like they have like good life and i'm like um home mm -hmm. always and sometimes like um if i sometimes um like i don't want to see there the, when they're having fun i just i just go been watching in netflix so i know so i so my mind is like off social media mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's kind of like a coping mechanism right you don't mm -hmm. want to see other people which is good too because it keeps you away from comparing yourself to them right? yes but at the end of the day, it's still also good to like even if you see these things in social media, what your friends are doing, like you don't fully know the whole story, yeah. right? What if they post something about like a small funny thing, but then the rest of the day was really sad for yeah. them, or the rest of the day was really boring and yeah. and just like they were struggling with something. You don't yeah. know that they were struggling because they only post the five seconds of happiness in yes. their lives, right? So yeah, that's true. Social media can be very Skew, skewing yeah. I don't know what that like you know what, what I'm talking about like I think I got you already yeah. yes 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 it's just putting on the very edge of like the smallest piece mm -hmm. of what someone's life is like yeah. yeah you cannot base someone's uh, life based on what you see on social media mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and also I just want to add something that you know you really shouldn't compare yourself with other people because you also have your own journey mm -hmm. yeah because you know my journey is different from Ruelas or a case mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I, I cannot compare myself like yeah. oh why am I not a teach teacher or mm -hmm. like a piano teacher or something like that because you know mm -hmm. I have a different story to you know mm -hmm. you have a fulfill. different story and you have a different story mm -hmm. and you're trying to go through your own journey with mm. your story with your own struggles and and all, all you really can do is walk your own path mm -hmm. right this path is you should just continue with your path like don't mm -hmm. stop with your path just because somebody else is yeah like you see that their path is like so cool because they're already in level like 10 or level mm -hmm. 15 but yeah. maybe you're only level like six or mm -hmm. level five um but you you will get there still right you yeah. will get there um but that means you just have to keep walking your path right yeah. don't stop walking your path yeah. just because you see somebody else's path is mm -hmm. like advanced because probably they they're older than you or had more struggles more hardship in their lives mm -hmm. so that means they had to work hard mm -hmm. so you work hard too in your path and then you'll get to where you want to be right exactly okay yeah wow gift of gab wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right so Thank that's you. the question number one so we will be doing a question number two see you then yes